Coach Kyle was saying that uh, he's still optimistic, hoping to play tonight, but, but wouldn't confirm and said that he just wants to wait and see how it feels. We'll see. We'll wait and see. Yeah, we'll wait and see. Game time decision, see where he is. And, um, you know, he, he went through the shoot around and looked good. And, you know, it's still he's not going to come back to the old Kyle. It's going to take some, some time, some some minutes to get his legs back, to get his conditioning back, but that's what we got to got to put him out there to get to uh, before next week. How's Amir doing, Coach? Amir's much better. We're moving a lot better. Uh, you know, he's back quick, going to be back quicker than normal. And again, it's going to be important to get him back, to get him some conditioning, uh, get his timing, rhythm, not only for themselves individually, but from a team standpoint, to get other guys used to playing with him, um, you know, uh, on the court. How much of the shoot-around was he able to... He went through everything. He went through, he went through everything. Okay. What have you seen from, from Milford Payton? Uh, impressed with the way he's been able to play as a rookie. Young man has grown. Their entire team has gotten better uh, over over the last couple of months. Even before uh, Jock would left, you could see him getting better and better and better. Now it's culminating into how they're playing now. They're playing at a very high level. Uh, everybody on the team has improved uh, individually. And Peyton is one of those guards that's speed personified. You know, puts it on the floor, gets to the rim. Uh, he's learning how to play against teams that are, are, are trying to take shortcuts on his pick and roll game. Uh, when they double team Busevich, he knows how to play without the ball. So his, he's learning the NBA game and, and uh, has gotten a lot better. As a coach who's seen all the rookies, would you have a vote for a rookie of the year? Uh, yeah, I would have, I have a vote for rookie of the year. I tell you what, there's so many good rookies out there. Uh, you know, you got to put Wiggins in that, that conversation first, but Peyton would be in that, he would be in that uh, five or six guys of rookies. You see the Magic as a team that, that kind of like you guys over the last three years is ready to take that next step. Yeah, and that next step is hard. I'm telling you right now, we've taken one step and that taking that next step is probably the hardest thing to do is to grow from uh, you know, being that underdog type to getting where you need to be and then that next step but they're right where we were two years ago, three years ago, and uh, it's tough. It's probably the toughest thing you do in sport, but you know, uh, if people are patient, and uh, it sounds like they are here, the good things are on the horizon because they've got a good talent base. They can add some other players, uh, another draft pick. Uh, this, they're in a great, hell, they're in a great situation now, the way they're playing now. They're knocking off everybody, beat Milwaukee at Milwaukee, and and spank Chicago here the other night. And uh, so, but again, uh, nothing but good things are on the horizon for this team. When, when you were talking about uh, Kyle and getting back to being Kyle, do you ease him in then when he comes back? Do you... We'll see, we'll, you know, we'll see. I'm, you know, I'm not gonna leave him out there and let him, you know, fall on his face or anything, but uh, we see where his conditioning is, how hard, you know, he can go for how long a period of time. But at the same time, we don't want to disrupt uh, what rhythm we do have, and the, uh, that's the hardest thing to do. And we went through it with DeMar coming back. You kind of get in the rhythm of guys playing. Now we got to get one of our other top players back in the fold. And now the guys' minutes have changed and their, their roles have changed a little bit. So now you discombobulate it again. So we've got to be careful with that. And, but we got to get he and Amir back in as quickly as we can to kind of get a, uh, a semi rhythm going into the playoffs. It affects your rhythm too, right? Well, not really. No, I'm right. Gonna, we're going to right. do we're, Well, we, we kind of know uh, how we want to substitute. But the players on the floor playing in that, you know, we, we have an idea how we want to sub. and. Uh, that type of thing, but again, the the substitution rhythm, you know, is was worse changed. Following up on the first part of that, with Demar rolling so well and Jonas picking up a bit offensively, is there a certain way you're going to want Kyle to play like more of a facilitator? Yeah, he's got he's got to play who he is. He's not going to change this stage of the year or or his career uh, or how we've played. We've got to we've got to adjust. Everybody has adjust. He has to adjust a little bit. Uh, you know, players around him have to adjust a little bit, so it's a give and take. Nobody's going to just totally change uh, who they are, how we play, or what the emphasis are. You know, we're a pick and roll team. Uh, DeMar is probably our first option in the post up, and JV's are probably our third option in the post up. So, um, you know, we, we got to go that way and be that way as far as uh, our style is, is concerned.